Um, so bear with me, this is just bullet points for the most part. Uh, hold the questions if you have any towards the end. If you have to leave in the near future, feel free to ask questions, but we are going to have a round table and a question and answer session uh, from 6.30 till pretty much we leave uh, and a big group discussion. So uh, our local chapter, I'm sorry, the Zeitgeist Movement itself, which was founded in 2008, uh, it's, we are a sustainability advocacy organization which uh, conducts community-based activism and awareness actions through chapters, teams, similar to uh, learners committees, uh, annual events, um, and as much charity work as we possibly can. Uh, the movement itself is explicitly not non excuse me, explicitly nonviolent. Can't say that enough. Uh, we're a group working in over a thousand chapters and across 70 countries. And as of right now, that I believe is the largest uh, claim to any advocacy movement in history. Our principal focus is to make it blatantly obvious that all the woes that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, as Rashawn clearly pointed out, um, are not the result of corruption, scarcity, evil people, uh, political policies, human nature, or any other commonly held assumptions. Rather, we recognize that the issues that I just mentioned, including others, are symptoms born out of an outdated social structure, capitalism. And uh, our defining goal is the installation of a new socioeconomic model outside of capitalism uh, that's based on technologically responsible resource management, allocation and distribution through what would be considered the scientific method of reasoning problems and finding optimized solutions. So long story short, the system isn't working anymore for humanity. It's failing us. It did a great job in the past. It's got us where we are today, but we can do better now. And uh, with the technological advancement that we have these days, um, if we took the money out of it all, we could really get somewhere. So, uh, the movement's loyal to a train of thought, not figures, not institutions. Uh, in other words, the use of socially targeted research and tested understandings in science and technology with with these understandings, we're now able to logically arrive at societal applications which could be profoundly more effective. There's a lot of big words here. Long story short, using the understandings that we have today, we can figure uh, other social structures, we can come to these social conclusions, uh, or conclusions that can lead us to other social structures that would do a hell of a lot better in meeting the needs of the human population not only the human population, but plants, animals, earth, everything. Just uh, sustainability for all that, that uh, exists on this planet. So, uh, as I mentioned, the movement's definitely not a political movement. We don't recognize nations, borders, governments, races, religions, creeds, or classes. Um, our understandings conclude that these are false and outdated distinctions, which are far from positive factors for true collective human growth and potential. Uh, they're all based in power division, whereas our goal is unity and equality. While it's important to understand that everything in life is a natural progression, we must acknowledge that the human species has the ability to slow our progress. and. Uh, through social structures that are out of date, dogmatic, etc. Um, the world you see today, full of war, corruption, elitism, pollution, poverty, is a result of this outdated um, paralyzation of society caused by humanity. And uh, like Roshan has made it blatantly clear, it's not a not a accident. This is, this is uh, happening behind our backs. What we don't know keeps the contracts alive and moving, as Rage said. And uh, we need to get past all this, though. 
So that leads us to uh, that's a brief bullet point of the, the movement itself. Sorry, it's uh, I read half of that, but uh, there will be a more defined move, uh, presentation in a bit about the movement itself. But our chat, our little chapter here in Michigan, southeastern Michigan. Like I said, we've been around since uh, 2009. Uh, it was first formed by a couple of, of us uh, over a couple beverages, thinking, man, this world's a mess, what are we going to do about it? And uh, someone brought up the movement, and we thought, well, let's start a website, and three years later, here we are today. So uh, since that date, we've had three Z days. We've been involved in many events, festivals, parades, We've also held viewings of various Z-related movies and whatnot, uh, not only at the Royal Oak Main Art Theater, but also uh, many at the Phoenix Cafe in Hazel Park where we have our meetings. Uh, speaking of festivals, I've got a bunch of slides here of the festivals we've been in. This is the uh, Ferndale Green Festival uh, in our little makeshift tent. This was the backside of said tent <laughs> on the alley area. Uh, once again, Occupy, thank you, thank you for having us here. And uh, on that note, we've, we've been slightly active, some more than others. Uh, us in the movement have tried to be as active as possible with Occupy. Uh, we've, we were at the uh, occupation of Grand Circus for, for quite some time. Uh, Neil, wherever he's at, lived there for a bit. Uh, Hans, who's part of our group, has uh, been very active in the Occupy movement. Um, so speaking of events that we've been at, Occupy has been one of them. Uh, we also did the Memorial Day Parade of Hazel Park. Uh, this was, I believe, last year, 2011, was it? And uh, we borrowed a trailer, and we basically took every deceased veteran in the state of Michigan. There's a big database online where you can get photographs of these individuals that have served and given the ultimate, um, given their lives for our nation. And we posted them all on our trailer there and then had, had various uh, slogans and whatnot on the trailer, basically stating that uh, you know we're fighting over these borders and these falsely scarce resources, for what? Um, and it's unfortunate that we have to pay the ultimate price for that. So, we're in the, this uh, parade with our trailer and handing out the literature, actually the literature that's on the table back there that please help yourself to. Um, that's us and those little tenant boards. Can't believe they stayed on there. But uh, that was a Memorial Day parade. We rented out the Royal Oak Main Art Theater back in 2011 when the Moving Forward movie first was uh, first came out, and uh, we had about a 90 percent. Uh, we almost sold it out. 90 percent of the tickets were sold, and it went, went really well. Thanks for everybody that helped in that process. Uh, here's the entrance to the theater. We had our little uh, poster there, and not to mention there were a lot of other. Uh, movies going on at the same time, so everybody that went in and out of this theater saw these posters, which was a lot of fun. And we were on the, the board out front. Mm. That was great. Uh, here's one of our members probably contemplating something brilliant uh, in, the, in the lobby of Royal Oak Main Art Theater. And as you can see, we kind of did a mini Z day with a bunch of literature and, and whatnot on hand. Uh, at a certain point in time, uh, myself and Matt over there went down and visited. Uh, I got to step back a minute. The Zeitgeist movement and the uh, answers that it provides are a lot of them are based on an organization called the Venus Project, which is in Venus, Florida, hence the name. But an individual named Jacques Fresco, this gentleman right here, and his partner Roxanne have uh, come up with uh, kind of turned the the, or they coined the term resource-based economy, and basically you know, a world that everything's automated, that can provide provide abundance to humanity, and at the same time uh, eliminate a lot of the woes that we deal with today in this resource-based economy. So, uh, 
So we went down there, we flew to, flew to Venus, Florida, checked this guy's uh, setup up, set up out, and it was, uh, it was amazing. I would recommend anybody do it. They offer tours. I'm not sure uh, what the schedule is, but if you go to the venusproject.com, you can see the tour schedule. Uh, but this is the two of them in, in one of his little laboratories, and uh, it's really, really amazing the setup that they have there in Venus. They have multiple research buildings with endless models of uh, extruded homes, uh, water desalinization plants, uh, the various construction, automated construction tools that he has, uh, uh, he has drawings for in these labs, and then a lot of little working models that, uh, that really, really are impressive. Here's uh, Matt and I. Yes, he's a short man, but uh, or we're, we're giants, one or the other. I'm not sure. That's Matt and I and Jacques Fresco. This is uh, Jacques speaking uh, about more of his brilliance in uh, his main area. <laughs> this is us at the uh, Rochester Green Fest with our little uh, booth. That was a good time, even though it was pouring rain out, unfortunately. There wasn't much occupier. Uh, the attendance is pretty poor, but this was last year at the uh, Rochester Green Fest, which we did sign up for again this year. Uh, you can look online uh, for the dates and times and agendas. And then the last but not least, I believe, we're, uh, I think I've already mentioned this a couple times, but two weeks from today we're going to have a showing of Zeitgeist Moving Forward right here, 4 o'clock, Saturday matinee, for anybody interested in coming. So uh, that concludes our chapter presentation. We'll take another quick break and uh, bring up Peace Mob in a little bit here. Thank you.